Hello, in this week's video we're looking at wakelet.com. Well, what is it? Well, it's a, a great easy tool to use for curating content. As I've said probably in numerous videos, there's a wealth of content out there online and our role as teachers and educators is to create that content uh, so it's appropriate for the subject we're teaching and then make it available to our students. You could also flip that on its head. It's a great way for students to create content as part of an assignment. So what I'm gonna do is talk you through how it works, what you can do with it, and then uh, go from there. So let's dive straight in. So I've added a title and a description. We can add an image in the background and a, a cover image. I'm just gonna add a background image and you can choose photos from Unsplash or you can upload an image of your own. So I'm gonna upload an image of mine I'll just take a moment to do that. You can use the slider to crop the image in essence to zoom in in a particular part. So I will save that. And that will appear in my, the background. Whilst that's doing that, at the top we've got three settings just like you would have on YouTube. Private, which means only you can see this. Unlisted, so only people you give the link can view. And public, everyone can see. So that's how you can share it. So having done that, we can start to add content. So if I tab across to my blog, I've already picked out some tools for creating flipped learning. I can click on that. I can copy that link. Now this could be stuff I've researched. I can go back and I can paste that link in there and it will give me a preview, which I can edit the item or I can delete it. If I change from media view to compact view, you can see it's just giving me the logo and the heading. And if I change from compact view to grid view, I can see a number of items. So I'm gonna add a couple more links for you. You can also add from Twitter, you can add an image, you can add from saved items, or you can just type some text in there. So let's go back to the blog and we'll add another link. So I've done the first one, I'll go for the second tool. And we'll copy the link. And we'll swing by across, paste the link in there. And you can see we're starting to get it. I personally prefer the media view. And you can obviously move and order them so if you had your top fives or whatever, you could organize those in a particular way. So we'll add one more link. So swap across to user. Copy of the link uh, across. Oh, sorry, that's my desk, not anything else. Switch back, paste that in there. And there you have it. So when you're ready, obviously you can save that. You can see other pics that other people have, other collections that other people have curated. You can explore and search that, or you can go home and you can see your own collections. Now, if I had a, a cover image, that would appear there. And then to view the collection, you've got a collection and you can also add contributors. So if you were working with your teaching team, you could add members of your, your teaching colleagues so you could all contribute links to resources. From a student perspective, if they're working on a group project, they could all contribute to the research. I think there's such a variety of different ways you could use it. For me, it's a great tool for creating content that I want to add to my blog and organizing it. So I can, I've always got tools that I can refer to and post about. So there you have it, a quick guide to using Wakelet. I think it's probably my top tool at the moment for curating content. If you like the video, please share it and remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.